So we finished the first six chapters of Zechariah, Zechariah. Zechariah, remember, his name means God remembers. In Hebrew, Zechariah, Zechar, remember, Yah, Yahweh, God, God remembers. So we've closed out now those first six chapters, but now we're moving into another part of the, of the book, chapter 7 to 14, the last part. And here we're going to have a lot more teaching slash preaching type stuff going on. So let's start by looking at Zechariah chapter 7, verses 1 to 3. Now in the fourth year of King Darius, it came to pass that the word of the Lord came to Zechariah on the fourth day of the ninth month, Chislev, when the people sent Sherezer and Regimelech and his men to the house of God to pray before the Lord, and to ask the priests who were in the house of the Lord of hosts and the prophets, saying, Should I weep in the fifth month and fast as I have done for so many years? So it's 518 B.C. now, and from the timing here of how long this trip is, and the people that are represented here, it looks like this is a group, a delegation of people who came from Babylon. They came from Babylon to Jerusalem. So they're asking if we should keep uh, doing this fast we've been doing. Well, if you go back to 2 Kings uh, chapter 25, you find out that, that back there in about 586 B.C., the temple in Jerusalem was burned uh, by the government of Babylon. And so... All this time has gone by, and this is one of the things they set up, was, oh, we're going to commemorate that. Well, now that the temple's more or less restored, almost finished with that, now they're saying, should we, should we just keep on doing this, or should we stop? Because we were mourning over the, the temple being in ruins, and it's not in ruins anymore. It's getting fixed up here. Now, you might have noticed that they used the first person, you know, should I fast? Should I continue fasting, even though there's a whole group of them? That's because they're a delegation, and they're representing those who were spiritual seeking Jews that were still in Babylon. They've come to headquarters here now. They've come to Jerusalem to kind of find out, make sure that they're in synchronization with what God's people are doing back there in Jerusalem. I like this spirit of trying to be in unity. I like this spirit of seeking to be together. It's embarrassing to see how little of this spirit that we see in the church today. Uh, they're trying to be together. They're trying to be united. They're separated by a vast geographical space, the space between Jerusalem and Babylon. That's a, that's a big space. But today we have people, and you know, everything is so much more convenient, and yet today many of our Christians that are separated from us, people who are in California, I'm in Michigan, people in Seattle, they have many different views out there. Uh, can't even tell anymore what a, what a man is or what a woman is. Uh, it, there's just so much absurdity happening and, and just being swallowed up because the culture says it, because important people say it, suddenly we're going to stop, stop practices, like we're stopping the marriage that we, that it's for thousands of years, we've sort of understood how that works, and now we're going to do it all different because, because it's the, it's the, the thing right now. We've, we've learned suddenly all this new insight through science, and now we, now we can't even tell what a man or a woman is. There's a fundamental localization today. It's like, well, yeah, you guys are kind of the old guys, you're the, in the dinosaur mode, and over here we're, we're up to date. And there's not a feeling of, hey, let's go to Michigan, let's go to California, let's tune up and let's kind of find, up, so ha find out how we can be together on the same page here. Instead, there's kind of like, well, we're going to do it our way and you do it your way and, and the unity thing doesn't really matter anymore. That's the way the thinking is because the state is becoming all-consuming and the corporations, the state, the whole system as it is, kind of uh, people are losing their way. Believers in God in Babylon who want to be in sync, they want to be in harmony with believers of God in Jerusalem, it's a beautiful spirit. It's, it's the right thing, and that's what we want to see today, is more of that spirit. But there's a totalizing spirit out there that is, uh, we bring everything into harmony with what the current thinking is, the current thinking of the culture. And as Christians, we want to bring everything into harmony with what God's thinking is. And, and of course, we respect everybody's freedom. And You have the right to believe right, and you have the right to believe error. And I'm not the judge of that. God's word is the judge of that. Moses himself is our judge in that way, right? The Bible says. So just let me remind you that the culture is flowing downstream towards the, towards the sewage treatment plant. And that's where that all kind of ends. So again, we go back to the scriptures to find out what the truth is, what reality is. And there we have a solid ground we can stand on. Oh, may the Lord take us up to higher ground the higher ground, the higher ground of the scriptures. Hey, tomorrow morning, let's look at God's reaction. See ya.